Hit a hoop. You just have to shoot down there, just. But when I just chop. But look at the chop. The chop is like the whole, like, my chop that I'm hit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, girl, I can see your body moving. Thank you to all of our special guests who've come from around the country, in some cases around the world. Also like to thank uh, Virgin Hotel and their staff who made this possible today and who are about to celebrate their first anniversary here on Music Row, July 1st, I think. Uh, and finally, a special thanks to Virgin Group's founder, Sir Richard Branson, who played a significant role in Laurent Lamoth's unique accomplishments during his tenure as Prime Minister. So here we go. Today is a release of our um, book with uh, former Prime Minister Laurent Lamont. Um, the book is The Hands of the Prime Minister. I worked with uh, the Prime Minister um, during his tenure and uh, co-authored the book with him. It's uh, my first ever book that I co-authored with Philip Halsinger. And I'm so happy that after four years of hard work, we were able to bring this this. Uh, book together. It's a coffee table book. It's uh, one that's not like any other. It celebrates what's good about Haiti. It celebrates the positive side, the side of resiliency, the side of fight, and the symbol that given a chance Haiti can do very well. Our connection is Haiti. And I think as a Haitian, um, the love that I got coming in as a Fuji, um, it's not, I'm a connector. So someone like that I would love to connect with to understand his mind and what he was doing at the time. Politically, I could have been on the side. He could have been on the side. Michelle could have been on the side. Sean Payne could have been on the side. But when it came at the time, we all just united because we made a united front because we really have one message. And the message is, how can we move the Haitian people forward? So for me, when the PM came in, um, it just felt like the idea of Haiti open for business, anti-corruption, um, it felt like a new era um, was coming in, for sure. So the takeaway uh, of the book is, uh, is basically to show a different side of Haiti and also to capture the 932 days that I was in office and the, the work that was put out to change Haiti. I think that this book um, for leaders, I mean, if you're a leader of a country or a leader of a business or a father or mother, I think there's, there's so many principles, common sense principles about um, how this government functioned and achieved what it did, um, building bridges, um, you know, developing relationships, being quiet and listening. I mean, there's so much to, to, to learn about um, from you know, leading in this book. It's a, it's a story of, that starts after the earthquake, after a devastating um, situation, Armageddon, if you want, and everything and all the people that, that got together to change things. I wasn't certainly, you know, I was one of many, and Philip was right there and he captured the images, so it was important to show those images to the world and, uh, and to show the hard work and what the Haitian people had to go through. Because it's all about the Haitian people, what they had to go through, and to cast it in, in a different light. We are scared of our own people. And this is the sad part. And, you know, like, it's important that we, so when I look at this book, I go back, because I was sitting there, and I was, like, going through it, and I was seeing these images, and I was like, our people are beautiful. And we should not be scared of our people. And... There's, the rhetoric is so strong within the negative, you know, it makes you have the ability to understand that it's bullshit. Like, they're not gonna, if I go and I show love, I show respect, I show hospitality, and I show that I really want to lend a hand, there's no Haitian that's gonna turn around and say, you know, let me do something negative. The general heart of the Haitian people is, 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 is all about that love. So for me, um, the images um, that I've seen in this book um, represents that. So I, I really wanted to get that across um, as a Haitian living um, within the United States. It's very important to me. It's a fascinating, mysterious, beautiful place, not without its problems, but it's a, it's a whole lot bigger than uh, sort of that narrow 
picture of the media. As much bad as we might have within common of history, we actually have more good, believe it or not. Thank you.